Hey guys, what is going on? It's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be filming my third back to school video because a lot of you guys have been really enjoying my back to school videos. Mind you, if you haven't seen any of the ones I filmed prior to this, I'm going to link a playlist down below titled Back to School Videos so that way you guys can check out all of my back to school videos. I did DIY erasers and I also did a DIY USB drive. So check those out if you haven't already. Today's back to school video is going to be a DIY Tumblr planner. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything from how I decorate my spread, what kind of stickers I like to use, and also a DIY bookmark. So get pumped, get excited because this video is also going to be a collab video with the planner queen here on YouTube known as Belinda Celine. Now, Belinda pretty much put everybody onto planners here on YouTube, well, at least in my personal opinion. So you guys have to go to her channel, check her out, and let her know that I sent you. She is also doing a planner-related video over there on her channel. If you guys are new to this channel, be sure to press that subscribe button because we're trying to reach a goal of 500,000 subscribers. And recently, we just hit 400,000. So we are so close. So if you're new, be sure to press the button right here if you are watching on a computer. If you guys are watching on mobile, I will leave the link down below in the description box so that way you guys can subscribe to this channel. Now, I don't have anything else to say, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, you guys, so to start this planner video off, of course you're going to need a planner. I personally own an Erin Condren planner, but you can use whatever one you want. Then you're going to flip open the page to the week that you're going to start decorating. And since we are going for a Tumblr theme, I just hopped over on my computer and I typed in Tumblr on Google and I found a ton of cute images. I then took those images that I found online, placed them on a Word document, and I printed them out. Now, if you guys want to know the exact measurements in which I use for these boxes, I'm going to leave Belinda's video linked down below. She did a whole entire video on it, which explains it a lot better than I can. Now that we have our images printed out, you want to cut them out, and we all know how to cut paper, so I'm not really going to get into too much depth about cutting out these images. Once we have all of our images cut out, it's time to start placing them onto our spread, and what's really cool is that I did use cardstock, so they're not going to be immediately stuck to the paper, so I just kind of moved them around and placed them exactly where I thought I wanted them. Once I had an idea of how I wanted my spread to look like, I went ahead and took some scotch adhesive, and I took the adhesive and I put it on the very back of the images. Like I said, I did use cardstock. There are a ton of different ways that you could do this. You can use it on sticker paper, and then just peel the sticker off but since I didn't have sticker paper I just printed it on cardstock and honestly it works the same exact way to add a little bit more pizzazz to this page I decided to go in with some silver washi tape towards the very bottom and what I really like about washi tape is that you can cut off the edges to kind of make it look like a banner now I know there are tons of people who go crazy with washi tape but I don't really like to go too crazy because I feel like it's just a headache and honestly this isn't a scrapbook it's more alongside a planner so I don't like to do too much to my planner if that makes sense so as you can see, I just started adding more and more of the images onto the page. I decided to add these X's because when I see these X's, I automatically think of Tumblr. Like, am I the only one? Let me know. Now we're going to move on to decorating our planner with stickers. I personally love the Etsy shop Libby & Co. She has some adorable stickers and what I really like are her section headers. She did these custom ones for me that says YouTube, Upload, Collab, and Today. She also has these which are her standard ones that say to do. So I just took these headers and I placed them over the boxes that I wanted. So on my collab days I just put collab and on Monday I put to do. I just kind of use a ton of different stickers. I also use this to do list from Libby & Co. and I place it alongside the very side of my planner which I absolutely love. I also like to add um, pictures of my friends on collab days. Some people may think that's weird. I'm just more of a visual person. Also from Libby & Co, I love these weekend stickers. They're so cute to put over the weekend to symbolize a weekend. So if you guys are interested in any of her stickers, I'm going to link her shop down below as well as the coupon code. Another shop that I absolutely love is Miss Wonderful Design. She has some of the cutest stickers ever. I really love this filming sticker as well as these Instagram stickers. She sent me this standard Instagram sticker and she also sent me a purple and a pink one. I really love these post office stickers with these envelopes 
because it symbolizes that I need to go into my email and reply to emails because I mean, sometimes I forget. She also has these really cute hearts. She has a ton of different stickers. So also be sure to check her out. I will link her down below. Another shop I've absolutely been loving is a Lily Top on Etsy. She has some of the cutest, colorful, kind of kawaii design stickers. I really, really do love them, especially like this car, the coffee cup, the check marks, everything about her shop is amazing. Now, I didn't feel that this matched the theme that we were going for in today's video, but if you guys aren't really into like the Tumblr theme, you can totally decorate your planner with just a ton of stickers like I did right here. But I do find that the Tumblr theme is a little bit more up my alley, a little bit more my style. But I just wanted to give you guys an option of what you could do if you weren't really feeling pasting cardstock onto the paper or anything like that. Now that we have our Tumblr theme laid out, it's time to get into the DIY Tumblr Polaroid bookmark, which is honestly my absolute favorite. So you're gonna need to print off some photos. I printed mine off on photo paper, and I just printed them in small squares. You can do whatever design, whatever size, whatever it is that you guys want really. Just make sure you print them out and then cut them out. Instead of cutting mine out with scissors, I decided to use a ruler and an X-Acto knife. I found that this gave me a cleaner edge as opposed to just using a pair of scissors. But obviously, if you don't have an exacto knife or ruler you can totally just use scissors i would just be a little bit extra here once you have all your photos cut out just like i have right here it's time to start arranging them on a piece of paper so i just took a four by six piece of photo paper and i started taking the square images and placing them onto that paper now it's completely okay if you don't get it right the first time they aren't glued down so you could always arrange them until you get it to your liking then you're gonna to wanna to take an adhesive roller and you are going to tape the photos down to the paper. It's so self-explanatory and it's super simple. And once you have all the photos placed down onto the paper, it's time to start trimming down the paper because obviously it's way too big right now. So I took my ruler and my X-Acto knife and I trimmed down the edges, leaving a little bit of white because we still want it to have the appearance of a Polaroid bookmark. You're also going to want to repeat the same steps on the very back because this is a bookmark, so when you flip it over, you still want to be able to see images. Once that is finished, it's time to turn on your laminator and wait for it to get hot. I am using thermal laminating pouches, and I'm going to just take my bookmark, and I'm going to place it into that thermal laminating pouch and put it through my laminator. This is going to laminate it. This is going to make it last a lot longer. I definitely recommend this step. After we are done laminating, it's time to trim down the laminating paper because there is so much extraness on this laminating paper, like we don't even need all of it. So trim some down, and then when you get to the very left side, you want to trace your Erin Condren ruler onto the laminating paper, so that way you can have your very own ruler. And then you are also going to trace the circles inside the Erin Condren ruler. After you get done with that, you're gonna to wanna to take a small hole punch, and you're gonna start punching holes where you trace the holes from the Erin Condren ruler, if that makes any sense at all. So you're gonna do this all the way across until you get to the very bottom. Once you're done doing that, you're gonna make little slits where the holes are, so that way you can easily pop it into the spiral ring of your planner. And once you did that, guys, that is pretty much it. Just pop it into the spiral bound of your Erin Condren planner or whatever planner you have, and you have yourself a really cute Tumblr Polaroid bookmark. So that is pretty much it for my DIY Tumblr planner. Now I'm gonna get into what I would call a Planner 101 Erin Condren haul. Like I showed you guys in the video, I do personally own an Erin Condren planner, which I absolutely love. So the very first thing I'm going to haul is their ready to ship planner, which is this one right here. I do have a customized cover on mine. When you do order the ready to ship planner, it does come in a cover like this. So I do have two planners. This one is the old version with um, their ready to ship cover cover on it and then this is the new one with my old kind of customizable cover on it so I really do like that about Erin Condren and they give you the option to customize your covers with your name and they do have a ton of options on their website so be sure to check that out 
The next thing I picked up from Erin Condren was this envelope right here. So it's just a plastic envelope and I stuck a few more items that I purchased inside. So I got these kind of compliment cards right here. It says a simple way to make their day. Surprise someone with an unexpected compliment that will spread joy and hopefully inspire others to do the same. So it just has a ton of cute kind of cards in here and I did get two packs of those. So I got this pack which is more of a chalkboard style and this one that has a ton of different colors to it so I really love those then the last two things I went ahead and got from Erin Condren were these two things right here and they are both sticker books so this is what they look like this one is awesome for back to school it says cool for school on it and it has this really cute kind of like foiled effect on the front and when you open it it has all these customizable stickers for your Erin Condren planner it says study and then it says big day break all nighter, holiday, me time, project due, meeting, paper due, exam, study group. So it has a ton, a ton of cute stickers. I definitely recommend picking this up if you guys are going back to school. The next thing I got from Erin Condra, and they actually sent this to me, and I have no idea what it's used for. I guess it's used for fun in the sense, but it is this creative color coloring book in Sketchpad, and it looks just like this bad boy right here. I definitely don't think it's necessary for school, but I feel like it's something cute that you can kind of play around with. And then the the last thing I have from Erin Condren is something that I absolutely have always wanted and I think it is so cute and it's their custom notebook. So this is the one that they sent me. It says success depends on courage and hard work. And then this is what the back looks like. And what I really like about this one, it's a take note notebook. So it's not like your regular kind of boring old notebook. It has color on the very top and I just think it's really cute and it has like these asterisks on the bottom and everything is color coded. I do feel like it is a little bit on the small side, but what I really do like about it is that you can order um, dividers to put inside of your notebook. So these right here act as dividers. So all you have to do is just pop them into the spiral bound of your notebook. So now that I completely bored you guys to death with a massive amount of information, it's time to get into the giveaway. My friends over at Erin Condra were actually nice enough to put on a giveaway for my subscribers. So I'm going to be giving away two $100 gift cards to erincondra.com. So that way you guys can pick out a few of the items that I mentioned in this video, whether you guys just want to get the markers, whether you want to get the sticker pads, whether you want to get the notebook, the planner, whatever it is that you guys want. So be sure to check out the description box down below. I'm going to list all the 